raise your hand if the tap water you use for your aquariums is treated with chlorine. I would also like you to raise your hand if you are sick and tired of buying store-bought water conditioners. Now let me ask you this, do you enjoy making things for your aquariums in the DIY fashion? If you answered yes, those two problems that you have about chlorine and buying expensive water conditioners might just be solved today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to take this stuff right here and make your own DIY aquarium water conditioner. Is that even possible? Why, yes it is. Let's get to making one. to the fish room today we're gonna hit you with some DIY action right in your face sorry if that hurt but I'm just super excited to be here hanging out with you guys showing you maybe a little secret that I've been using within my aquarium box fish water fish room to save me just a little bit of money when I do all these big giant water changes on all 700 gallons of aquariums within this room. And what would that be, might you ask? That would be the fact that I personally do not buy aquarium water conditioners anymore. I make my own. What I would first like to do is warn you guys, because sometimes DIY projects within your fish room can be a little bit complicated. Not everybody can do it. This is not one of those things. This is gonna be probably the easiest thing you have ever, ever, ever done in terms of a DIY project in your fish room and might have one of the biggest impacts. So to start off, like I said in the opening intro section, this water conditioner is only for your tap water that is treated with only chlorine. To be safe for drinking, those water companies out there put some chemicals in our water. It may seem weird, but it makes it safe for us to drink. However, by putting those chemicals in the water, it makes it not so safe when you put it in your aquarium for your fish. Now, a couple things they use to treat are chlorine and chloramine. If you're like me, my tap water is treated with only chlorine. That's it. So this water conditioner is going to work perfectly fine. But if your water report happens to say chloramine's on it as well, honestly, going to the store and buying something is probably your best bet. Go check your water report. It will say exactly what they're putting in your water and at what concentrations for your local water supply. So ingredient number one to our DIY water conditioner just happens to be in this bottle. It is a gallon of distilled or deionized water. I use distilled. Cost me like a dollar. It's cheap. Next up, we're going to need something called sodium thiosulfate. Now, I know what you're going to say. kind of looks like drugs. But what it actually is, is some of the stuff that you find in all those water conditioners that you know buying at the store. It's what the big companies use. Why the heck can't we use it? I'm gonna be completely honest. They don't want me disclosing this information. So if after this video airs, I am found dead somewhere, you guys know where to look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit you with some numbers to show you exactly how awesome this sodium thiosulfate is. Number one, you can get like two pounds of this stuff for under 10 bucks, link in the description. Number two, those two pounds have the potential to dechlorinate, wait for it, 60 thousand gallons of water. Today I'm only going to show you how to make one gallon and the number for that gallon is 7,500 potential dechlorinated gallons. I do a lot of water changes every single week and we'll just say this stuff lasts me a while. Now as impressive as those numbers are, 60,000 gallons, 7,500 gallons, one cup treats 500 gallons. Knowing all those numbers is completely pointless if I actually don't show you guys how to make it. So let's get to showing you guys how to make it, right? All right, first thing we need to do is we need to weigh out some sodium thiosulfate. We're going to put our cup right here, and we have to zero out our scale because 22.1 is not the number we're going to be using. Hit that zero button. Perfect. So we're going to need four ounces of sodium thiosulfate per one gallon of distilled or deionized water. Let's measure some out. All right. Getting closer. Too much. Perfect. All right, so we're down to our last couple steps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our four ounces of sodium thiosulfate. That's gonna go into our conditioner container. Check. Next up, we're gonna take our gallon of distilled water and add that to our conditioner chamber. Be careful, this could be messy. Check. Apply the top back to our container, and we're almost done. Now the last thing we need to do is we gotta make sure all of our crystals are dissolved. So we just give it a nice little mix. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our one gallon of DIY aquarium water conditioner that will treat 7,500 gallons of aquarium water is complete. The final thing that I need to tell you guys is exactly how much to use when you're 
doing your water changes because if I don't tell you that you guys might just dump a whole gallon of this stuff and it could cause problems so when using this stuff doing your water changes one teaspoon or five milliliters treats 10 gallons so what I did is I made my own water conditioner a measuring cup five milliliters at a time I measured out exactly how much water conditioner I would need for each size tank measured that out so every time I go to do a water change, all I have to do is fill it up to the 225 when I do a water change on Azul's tank. Doing that's going to make everything a little bit easier. You're not doing little teeny tiny measurements every time, especially if you have large aquariums to do water changes on. So when doing your water change, what I do is I get some of my water conditioner using my measuring cup. We're doing a 135 water change, so we're going to fill it up to about there. And then as the water is filling, all I do is pour, pour it in. Easy as that. Done. I want to let you guys know that this stuff does have a shelf life. It's about six months. So if you're not going to do that amount of water changes in a six month time, refer down to the description. I put information for a half batch, quarter batch, for those of you who may not be doing tons and tons of water changes. What I'll also do is I'll throw down in the description amounts of this dechlorinated you will need for standard size tanks, 855, 75, 125. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you go over to the Facebook page. Make sure you go over to the Instagram. Like the Facebook page. Follow me on Instagram. And for all of you, stay till the enders. Code the word today is aqua power. Aqua power. It's the power of the aqua water. Aqua power down in the comments below. See you guys next week doing something else.